Om dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching a YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Zidith Hutu, I huddle my Bitcoin because it's a revolution. I am doing a short TA video today from the beautiful rooftop terrace here of my small, cozy, beautiful house in Albufera, Portugal, guys. We are going to do a short TA video, but amazing charts. I'm, I'm sharing, of course, the Bitcoin update, update, the Bitcoin update, <laughs> but we're also going to look in two charts I've never shown you before. Really cool charts. Let's see if we can jump into charts quickly so that you can uh, see what is happening to the market. Bam! Like, this is the first chart, guys. This is a four hour chart. Like you can see, I drew some yellow lines on that chart because I thought the target would be somewhere over here at 48K. And these yellow lines could go like this, I told you guys, or could go like bam, like that. We can also go, of course, in between. Like we see now, we can go, go down. And from here, we can go up like that. All possibilities. The beautiful part now, and this is now the battle, the battle of the golden cross against the bearish cross because a golden cross is when the 50 crosses over the 200 day mo uh, moving average sorry the golden cross is when we cross the 50 crosses the 200 moving average that can be on a four hour chart that can be on a day chart of course the longer the time frame the more reliable it is on the four hour chart that is this one we can see that this cross is happening right now at this moment you can see already the blue cross over there that is the golden cross the green bottom line this one is crossing the red line so this here this line is coming up and the red line is coming down so this area here is the cross and the four hour cross if we look back in history has always led um, to a huge uprun this is the bearish cross on the four hour bam we went down but if you look at the bullish crosses, there's also bearish cross on the 4 hour, bam, we went down. And if you look at the bullish crosses, the last one was here in February, that was a huge run in Bitcoin. So here, for example, you saw a bullish cross, we went up, bam, but also again down and the bearish cross. Again, you can see that these indicators are lagging, but just showing you that this is happening at the moment. We are creating a 4 hour golden cross. If we look at the bam here, this is the chart I shared with you yesterday, the day chart. So every candle is a day. Here we have this bearish cross, almost. Bullish cross on the four hour is happening. Bearish cross could be happening. If the bullish cross on this four hour is going to do what it normally does, we will see the price go to 50K. If we see the price going to 50k, we could see the green line curling up and not have a bearish cross. On yesterday's video, I tried to explain that the bearish cross is not always negative. There have been some comments that are telling me, yeah, but you should have shown all the bearish crosses that were negative. Okay, I'm going to try and show you bearish crosses that were negative without being lagging behind. Now, the last bearish cross, this one. That was over there on the 28th of March. The price already dropped on the 7th of March. And then from the 13th of March to the 28th of March, when the bearish cross were, we were already going up in price. Let's go to the next bearish cross. Over here, bearish cross. At that moment, the 26th of October, the price already dipped on the 25th of September from 10k to boom, bam, down to almost 7k so there was already a huge price correction then the bearish cross and at the moment we saw the bearish cross look to be very clear we zoom in at the moment we saw the bearish cross the price was going up again to that red line so that was an increase from 7k all the way up to 9k again so that was a huge increase before we went down again but there was an increase after the bearish cross and that is why it's lagging behind. Let's go way back. Golden cross, huge uprun. Here, B 
bearish cross. This bearish cross was after the bull run in 2017. So let's see. We went from 20k all the way down to 7k and that is the moment the bearish cross happened and the moment that bearish cross happened the price already bottomed out and we went from 6.6200 7000 to all the way up here 10000 so again that bearish cross was there but we were already bottoming out because of the dip and the crash before and then the price started to go up again so we were going back to that red line okay that was 2017. I'm going to go way more back because that was in the bear run, the bear time. The dead cross in the bull run, in the bull run we haven't seen that many dead crosses in the bull run because mostly we be very close to the red line. Like you see over here, we come very close and then this huge volume comes in and then the green line starts to curl up. We come close, even the green line starts to curl up. But here, again, we had that beautiful dead cross at that point we already dipped because if you zoom in here this is the moment from the de of the dead cross that we already dipped from 3000 all the way back to 200 <clears throat> and then when the dead cross appeared the price was already through 130 and we were going up again so that is the dead cross of 2000 where are we here here 15 okay let's go dead cross over here that one is again in the bear run after 2013 top. That was a definitely the dead cross. But also there we already dropped from the top to that level. So that's why I said it's lagging behind. These death crosses over here, they happened when Bitcoin was $500. No, Bitcoin was $350. We came already from $1,100. So the crash was already done. Then the death cross appears. And after when we saw the death cross, the price were, was going up trying to reach that red line again and that is how I said it's lagging behind and that is how I said let's see if this dead cross is really deadly if we even see a dead cross where we can still bounce without crossing or have a small go like over cross but go up again like that's all possible so don't freak out zoom out that's what I am saying okay too long talking bam here we have the beautiful weekly chart to show you some more bullishness on the weekly chart like i said support on this beautiful line down below the mid line we need to go above this yellow line again that yellow line is around 48,000. so that is the line that we are going to uh, target to beautiful that is also the target of these crosses so look at the bottom now we are going to look here to this one <coughs> This is the stock RSI. Sorry, I have something in my throat. Probably it is Bacardi. <laughs> Look at the stock RSI. Do you see this blue line on the bottom crossing the red line? Now let's look to the left to the moments that happened before. Below this purple area, a blue line crossing the red line. The blue line crossing the red line over here. I'm going to draw because else you won't understand. Here. Below the purple area, the blue line crossing the red line, what happened with the price? We went from 12k to 60k. That's huge. Here, let's see. The blue line crossing that red line over there. We went from 7k all the way to 10k. The blue line here crossing that red line. We went from poo, yeah, 6k to the top over there to 10k. So these moments that this blue line is crossing the red line below the purple area are small or big runs here as well. Small or big runs here as well. Small or big runs. This was also a run. Look, it is a run from here, 5,000 all the way up to 8,000. So that's almost like a 100% run. It looks small, but it's a huge run. So now we see this again. The blue line just crossed down below the purple area. Do we, will we, do we, <laughs> will we see a run again? That is the question. And if I look to the left, yes, then normally we should be seeing a run. And if you look to this, then you can see also that the yellow bottoms are going up here in the bottom. Sorry, I need to draw. We are going up with the yellow bottoms, up, 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 you know. So I think, yes, we will be going up again. And that means this is going up. And that means that that price is also going up. And bam, that is also what we see on this beautiful chart of Willy Who. Um, 
who? Willy who? <laughs> That's cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, I wish I had that cool name. Willy who? Diddy who? Diddy who? No, I have Diddy Bam. Let's call it Diddy Bam. But if you look at this chart, guys, this is the NVT signal. The NVT price is 54,000, around 54,000. We should be with the NVT price, I think. Um, and this is the signal that is signaling, yes, we are turning around in the market. Look to the left again every time what happened when we reach that moment down below this bottom purple area here every time we did this the price went hugely up here we came close the price went hugely up here this looks that like we get are going down this, this this really looks like it but this was exactly when we had a huge dip to to 5k and we went up to 10k again that was exactly this one so that's 100 percent run you don't see it because it's very zoomed out now uh, but yes then if you would zoom in to this area you would see that that is also a run up only a 3k 4k run but from 5k to 9k is a huge run and here again we are now down below that area i expect again that run guys um let's jump into that that was like a really really bad video <laughs> <laughs> let's jump into the last two charts guys and um, bam this one first um, really important to see why because i say so i think so i know so because if you look at the bitcoin deviation from the 11 year trend do you know the video 11 11 11 11 year trend that one then you see now that every time we come below that zero percent area in the yellow box over there would be an amazing moment to buy you you see the yellow area over here wait can i draw on this one now Ah, too much. Uh, I think Didi, you drink too much yesterday. Um, if you look in the yellow box, this area over there, that is what is this? Yes, this is the time before the huge 2017 bull run. You should have bought over there. This here, also before the huge 2014 bull run. So, this here, yes, also before the huge 2021 bam bull run, guys. Just understand these charts. Bam. Here, one more chart, the total Bitcoin in circulation. I know you all know it will be 21 million, but we at the moment, we have around 98% already mined. That's beautiful. And that you can see that over here, and it will take till the year 2140, here, down low, down below, there, there, there. You can see that it will take till that time, because my face is now in the screen, you can't see. So I need to do that again. This is the most, my God, Didi, what are you doing today? Bam, there, 2140, that is when the last Bitcoin will be mined. So yes, we had a lot of Bitcoins mined in the beginning, but we will decrease that uh, amount of Bitcoin that's going to be mined every day because of the halvings. And that is exactly why Bitcoin is creating this beautiful price movement because of those four year cycles and the halvings. And bam, that was enough for today. It was not a good video. I still feel mm, rum. But uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and the knowledge that I shared again. If you did enjoy the video, give it a video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching. Wish me very full. Wish me good video. Retarded. Diddy. I wish you a very happy day with not too much headaches and please stop drinking. Thanks for watching guys. See you tomorrow again. Bye.